Hey y'all, uh, it's Jay the Asian Mogul here. I'm here with another video. Uh, actually, I wanted to make this video so that way I could talk to you guys about something I've been seeing on Facebook uh, and online, on social media pretty much. And I guess a lot of people's accounts have been getting shut down with PayPal. And um, that sucks, for one. It's, it's really a, a bad feeling. I remember in the past, I actually had to deal with something similar to this. And what was crazy about it is at the time, it was because I was working with, uh, I was doing my magazine. As you guys know, I had a magazine, which I plan on re revamping and all this other stuff. But I was doing my magazine, and I had a vendor that we had worked with at the time. And the vendor was really good. Like, she would bring a lot of people to the site. The ad sets was blowing up every month. Those types of things. was Like, it was a lot of good things that was happening with the magazine and with the partnership that we had. The bad thing about it is, because she wasn't bringing out um, items fast enough or shipping them out fast enough people kept um, trying to get their money back with PayPal it's through PayPal really because that's what I, I was getting our payments from this is maybe like two or three years ago so with that a lot of people kept sending off their um, claims with, through PayPal basically they didn't receive their items and that they needed to receive their items by such and such time and it was taking a long time some of them actually were impatient yes but others had good reasons too because they wait like a month to receive it. Now I get the overload in the orders that we were getting because we did get a lot of orders in at one time, but um, it was just how she was doing it. Of course, I would offer to help to try to minimize the weight off her shoulders and all that stuff. So it got to a point where it got so many, or PayPal had received so many claims that they ended up shutting down the account. So they actually ended up. Um, saying that we couldn't use them anymore for it and of course that affected my business so I had to cut ties with her because it just wasn't a good look I mean I need I, it was great as far as having the amount of visitors come to the site every day but being able to or being a company that was pretty much returning almost a thousand dollars in products back or returning that type of money to PayPal was a lot and of course it caused PayPal to shut their account down so what I've been hearing with, 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 with what has been happening with everybody as of right now in 2019 and the year just started is a lot of internet marketers are actually getting their accounts shut down. It's, um, I guess, PayPal frowns upon the, the type of business that it does, MLM, internet marketing, anything that pertains to that. Now, if you have a service, like for me, I do graphics. So usually, uh, with me, for example, I, I specify when I work with my clients that they, do, they don't get any refunds. I don't really do refunds. Um, if they're a product that they, <clears throat> if I'm working on design for them, they automatically sign off on that, that there is no refunds. Um, now, of course, you'll get people that try to come back and try to say they, they want one or whatever, but it's very rare. Because usually what I'll do is I'll work till they get what they want. I pretty much make sure that they are satisfied with what they paid for. But that's just how I do things. So I'm not sure exactly how you guys can go about doing it differently for that. But, of course, it is a great idea to have a backup plan, a backup account for your PayPal account. So if you don't already have a bank account attached to your PayPal account, so that way you can get it, um, so that way you can get your money transferred as soon as you get the payments, so you can have it saving somewhere else versus just on PayPal. Because if PayPal decides that they want to shut down your account, they're going to shut it down without even letting you know. And you'll try to log in one day, try to figure out why what's going on. Then you'll call up there and you might get somebody on the line and you might not get somebody on the line. But if you do, they'll tell you the same thing. That they received 20 claims and had to shut it down. So be careful when it comes to that. Um, I know sometimes it's hard to actually deal with because it is money that you're losing. But as always, have a backup plan, especially when it comes to pretending to doing business. Make sure you have a backup plan. So um, let me know what you guys think. I'm actually gonna leave a couple of links in the bottom of the video. Um, me personally, I have a Chase account and I have a Simple account. Now both of them actually work wonders. I use my Google AdSense money goes to my Simple account and my Chase account I use for whatever. So you got I actually have it connected to PayPal. So anytime you guys want to make, make uh, you get a payment, just go ahead and transfer it. And that's if you're able to set, set up another PayPal account. Um, with me, I was actually able to set up three or four different PayPal accounts. Um, but only one I actually use on a regular. So, it's up to you. See what you what works best for you. But again, I get it. I get it. And unfortunately, a lot of these companies, they do pay 
um, through PayPal. So now they're going to have to find alternate routes. Um, but that's it for I have for this video right now. Just let me know what you guys think. And if you have experienced this, let me know in the comments at the bottom. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.